Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos and uh, the Pet Petrol Factory uh, just outside of Prague. They uh, they make their own soundboards, which is very unusual for a piano factory. A lot of other piano factories they they import uh, soundboards from uh, from other from from people that just make soundboards, which. Uh, Something that they were insistent upon is, is exact control and being able to uh, pick pick the wood from the very beginning on their own. Their own craftsmen are doing it, and it's a real art in choosing in choosing the wood. Now this is uh, this is what they call resonant spruce. It's grown between 800 and 1,000 meters. Very specific uh, uh, area of growth. And it's been it's been properly uh, uh, cut. I'm gonna talk about that briefly, and then uh, and then I'll talk about the, the aspects of uh, of what what makes good tone. The way it's cut, of course, the tree starts out in a, in a in a circle. Cut it into quarters, and then when you have a wedge, you have like a, a pie shaped wedge. It's cut it's cut uh, straight up and down, so that you have you have the orientation of the grain right at the surface. The orientation of the grain is as much uh, vertical as, as possible. Now the reason for the 800 to 1,000 meters is, is uh, you have spring growth, then you have summer growth. And you want those summer, those dark rings, the summer growth, to be as close together as possible, which, which has a very uh, positive effect on the tone. Now, of all of this wood here that, that is used for uh, the soundboards, of course the soundboards get the, they, they pick the very primo, uh, cream of the cream out of this uh, stack here, and it, what ends up actually only being used is 3%. Everything else is either used for other applications or, or burned as, as scrap wood, scrap wood. And it's a real art. I'm going to get into that and make a couple more videos about how they actually make that selection process. There are something like three selection processes where they're weeding out, um, weeding out the wood, and they and how they how the soundboards come out looking and sounding more importantly, just as they as the designers intended.